All right, we are back in Skyrim. There's a couple people we need to talk to, and that's Inigo and Lucian. I know how to start Inigo's quest already, because I've played Inigo a thousand times. Lucian, on the other hand, I played him once. What can I do for you? Smells like stale beer. I think somewhat similar, uh, somewhat similar. You have to ask him something. Ask away. And maybe ask him this. And that's how the quest will eventually trigger, I think. So is there, we've been traveling all around Skyrim, you've been traveling with me for a long time, and I know you've been in the safe house resting, but is there anywhere particular you'd like to see? Now that you mention it, I suppose there is. Somewhere here in Skyrim, there's a Dwemer ruin called Doomsbathar. I came across a text referring to it in my last few months at the Arcane University. Dwemerus is a fiddly language, often the same words can have multiple meanings, but I'm fairly sure it translates loosely to bound ghosts. It piqued my curiosity. The use of soul gems in Dwemer automatons is well documented, but no one really knows much about their purpose or function. I thought perhaps this place of bound ghosts might be something to do with that, so I did some more research, but I just can't find the location. My father's looking into it for me while I'm here on my expedition. If he finds anything, he's going to let me know. Hmm. This is an old Haven't I run across Doom Bazaar? Some of these Dwemer names are really hard to pronounce. And for you, Inigo... Let's oh, go. They haven't asked you much questions, we'll have I? Drive out the storm uh -huh. folks and restore what we own. With our blood. Mind if I ask you something? Of course. What do you want to know? I'd actually like to know more about you. Tell me more about your past. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. Okay, tell me more. I was bullied by the other Khajiit children because of my unusual color and markings. My mother showed me a handy trick with a rock and a glove. I was never bothered again. Anything else? My father showed my brother and I how to use a sword. My mother taught us the bow. Happy childhood memories. And... yeah, keep going. I grew up in Riverhold, not far from Cyrodiil. My brother and I headed for the Imperial City to find our fortune when we came of age. I found love, for a time at least. My brother found death. You were in love once? Well, now that I think about it, maybe it was not love. It was brief and, as it turned out, one-sided. Anyway, all that happened later. I know what that's like. Inigo, you just became... <laughs> so he he was in... What he pretty much said was he was in love with someone that didn't love him back. And death? I will come to that soon. There is a little more to hear first. Alright, keep talking. I'm interested. My mother and father are both gone. They died protecting a trading caravan a few years back. I guess I am an orphan again. What were your parents like? I suppose they were a bit of an odd couple, being an Argonian and a Khajiit, but they adored each other. And us. Despite their previous profession, they were good people. Okay. Someone remind me how that works again. Argonian and, and the Khajiit. The, the kid will take... If two makes his race like that, the kid will take the father's race, right? Or is it the mother's race? Someone let me know. 
I mean, I can look it up, but, you know, I like to interact with the people of the comments who are watching the video. Did they take... Someone answered this for me a long time ago, but I forgot. Do they take the father's race or the mother's race? So, I'm sorry for your loss, Inigo. That means a great deal. Thank you. And happy Father's Day, by the way, because I'm recording this on Father's Day. Tell me more about your past. My brother and I found much work as cell swords. We never made it to the Imperial City, but we made a lot of coin. What kind of jobs did you do? A bit of giant killing here, a bit of witch slaying there. We took gold when it was offered, but sometimes we worked for nothing. It is hard to deny those in need whether they have coin or not. We made more than enough from those who could pay anyway. Yes, Headmaster. Steadfast as winter, they entered the fray. Okay, where did your travels take you? All over Cyrodiil, from the Gold Coast to the Gerald Mountains. It is a wonderful land, but quite tame compared to Skyrim. Those were happy times, traveling or working during the day, camping out under the stars at night. Life was good. Alright. I awoke one morning to a lot of noise outside our tent. My brother staggered in, bleeding, and pushed our father's sword into my hand. He said that if I loved him, I would run. He used the last of his strength to rip out the back of the tent and push me down the slope beyond. Some Khajiit-hating locals had blamed us for a spate of robberies in the area, and had decided to take the matter into their own hands. Twelve of them had snuck up on us in the night. My brother died, but I live because of him. I'm sorry, losing a brother like that must have been terrible. Yes, that morning I lost all that was dear to me. Unfortunately, I also uncovered a side of myself I never knew existed. Do you ever wish you stayed and fought? Every day, my friend. Every day. What was your brother's name? His name was Fergus. I miss him very much, but part of me is glad he did not witness what became of me after his passing. How are your students coming along? Well, maybe you wouldn't, well, you know, maybe that puts you in a bad spot. I'm sorry to break it to you, Jero, but Yeah, uh, losing him that way, bound, well, yeah, it was bound to affect you. You know, people take that kind of thing differently. I, I know what it's like, but I don't, you know, I didn't resort to drugs and alcohol and I don't do any of that stuff. In fact, fun fact about me, I'm actually never taking a sip of alcohol in my life. Not once. Or done any sort of drug. How are your students coming along? Possibly. Losing him hey, that way was pupil. bound to affect you, None and sir. Can hold a candle to he her. would have understood. Especially yeah. Ildi. Try not to play favorites, lady. Maybe you are right. It, it is a nice people. thought. But yes, I suppose headmaster. I will never know. I was recruited by a group of bandits a few years ago. That is when I discovered Skuma. It was the beginning of a lot of nastiness. Yep, that's when that started. I was with a bandit girl for a while. Turns out she was using me. She wanted protection, not affection. As soon as she found someone more psychopathic, I was dropped like a sack of troll dung. How are your students coming along? Did you fall in love with her too? I thought I did. We dulled each other's pain somewhat. She seemed like the only bright thing in a very dark place. Regrettably, she was a vicious, manipulative harpy. Yes, Headmaster. I left the bandits and took the only ally I had with me. He was also an addict, but we thought we had it under control. 
His name was Felix. He was a big fellow, good in his scrap. We became mercenaries together. After a few months, Felix and I had made a little gold, but our addiction to skooma was getting in the way. No one trusts an addict, my friend. Especially not another addict. Tell me about Felix. There is not much to tell. He never spoke about his past, but it was clear he had also been through a great deal before becoming a bandit. That life did not seem to suit him. He had been an educated man at some point, I am sure of it. He was violent, but he had retained some dim vestige of honor. I wish we had met under different circumstances. Alright, tell me more about your past. One day, Felix burst into my chamber. Instinct took over and I reacted. His murder was my second to last step on the road of dishonor. Trying to kill you was my last. Except you never... My journal tells the rest. Read it if you want. I do not enjoy speaking of these things. That is my story. Not a happy one, but maybe the happy stuff is still to come. Alright. Let us go. Alright, what are we gonna do? I, I believe I saw Doom Bazaar, or whatever it's called. I feel like I've ran across it. I know f it's in... It's not in Skyrim, it's... In a place that used to be a part of Skyrim. As soon as I find the Dwemer Compass, I don't know why I went all the way down there. No, it's here. Yeah, I did. I did come across Dooms. Now I know in in Lucian's quest. There you are in Lucian's quest. They're supposed to send you like a letter. It's on the edge here. I'm not gonna fly there. Now I wonder if I go there with Lucian. Will the quest automatically update? Because I already found it. We don't need the letter from his dad. Because that, that's what he's waiting on. He's waiting on a letter from his dad to tell him exactly where the place is. But what if you've already found it? And I, I don't think you can tell him that you already found it. I don't have time to even draw my sword anymore. Make sure I am. You know what? I can put a marker on here. I'm gonna place marker. There we go. Emerald. I have so many emeralds, it's, it's whatever. A few places I have not discovered here. There's a shrine of some sort up here. Hopefully it's one of the shrines that I haven't found. I doubt it. Yeah, Zenithar is not gonna do 
anything for me. I feel strange. Ah, my mind is vibrating in my skull. It feels like it is at the end of a hook. Uh, are you okay? I do not know. Wait, the sensation is receding. That was horrible. How do you feel? What was all that about? I'm okay. I have no idea what it was. All of a sudden, there was a bright flash, and it felt like my mind was being pulled out of my ears. That doesn't sound good. Do not worry about me, my friend. Let us get back to it. That may become a problem. You know, I think someone is trying to use some type of magical spell on you. At least that's what I'm getting from Stendar. Someone's trying to do something. In other words, that's going to happen again. <sighs> Foul Pathars. Foul Foul Pathars. They really I feel like there should be a mod if you if you place a marker and you get to the marker the marker should automatic automatically be removed all right since we made it here in this case I'll just fast travel in front of it so Lucian and them can catch up okay Lucian I found it seems like only yesterday I left home but I already feel like quite the adventurer. Thank you, my friend, for keeping me alive. We are here at... The, I wonder if we gotta go in. Let's go. Oh, that's gonna have to wait. Uh, we do now have... Dragon Rend. Since I don't have my Dragon Rend bow. Shouldn't be, you gotta land. Going down dragons of ease. Ring of light. I don't have the enchantment, so I'll take it. I don't know why. I didn't mean to take that. That source went like molten metal and the lizard gizzards. You smell like a lizard gizzard wizard. I am just saying. I smell like a lizard gizzard wizard. Requires key, of course, we don't need the key. I wonder, I kind of want to see what happens if we do go in here, though. So let's go ahead and see if the quest will activate. If not, we'll head back to Skyrim. I'm going to make a save. I just want to see what happens. See if Inigo says anything. Not Inigo, but Lucian. I can't believe we're actually here. Okay. Let's have a good look around. There's no knowing what may find. Interesting, but see the quest didn't pop up though, did it?
Oh, and as I was playing off screen, this quest here called the Visage, Visage popped up. I don't know if we're supposed to be here. You know what? I think I'm gonna wait on Lucian's father to send me the letter because I don't want to break this. It is happening again. My mind is vibrating. It feels like it is on the end of a rope. Wait, I see something. A cabin, trees, a face. It is fading. It is under the rug. Ah. Thank the gods. It is weakening. Yeah, somebody's trying oh. to contact you, dude. It is over. Ow. Somebody about someone saying, claiming to be your best friend? At least that's what I'm getting. What did you see? I saw brief flashes of a cabin in the snow. It was surrounded by trees. What is happening to me? Under the rug? Do you recognize the cabin by any chance? No, but something about the landscape was familiar. I wish I could remember where I have seen Look, it before. A snowflake. Look, another snowflake. Uh, see anything else? A man, perhaps? A bearded man. Okay. I did not recognize him. The flashes were very fast and confusing. Same here, my friend. Same here. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen again, but I got a feeling it will. But let's continue moving on. Okay. If it does happen again and my brain tries to escape through my nose, push it back in, please. I actually had to reload back before I opened this thing. And I lost my dragon bones and scales that I got from killing that dragon. I guess we'll head to... I actually want to go to Shorestone? Oh, no, no, I killed the dragon. Okay, never mind. Oh, here comes the courier. Now, this quest called the Visage popped up, and I believe it was close to Shorestone, which is why I came here. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Letter from four, Lucian. Letter two, Lucian. Okay, so. Enough! Of somebody help! What are we doing? Kill Don. The thing. Where, where, where would it go? There you go, there you are. Alright, let's check this out now. We were in... We were literally... At, oh, let me give the letter to Lucian, I forgot. Lucian, here's your letter. Something on your mind? Yeah, I... Think this letter's for you. Uh oh Perhaps the courier gave it to you by mistake. Let me see. Ooh, marvelous. It's from my father. Do you remember I said he was looking into Doomsbathar for me? It seems he's had some success. He's found me its location. Yeah, I know, we were just there. Turns out we were completely wrong when we guessed it was in Skyrim. It's actually on Solstheim. Not only that, but he's also sent me the key. Can we go? Oh, please say we can go. Of course. Fantastic news. I'll mark it on your map. And here's the key. Oh, I can't wait to get going. Alright. I really think the mod author should add <laughs> some dialogue for if you find it before. Cause you don't you don't start Lucian's quest unless you talk to him. And I'm going the wrong way. And a character like me can bypass keys. 
so. Or if you manage to get in there beforehand, due to like magical mods you have, the quest should start if you go in, in my opinion. But Lucian is one of the. Okay. It's gotta be the snow elf thing again. Come with me. Okay, I'm following you. This should be interesting. Uh, Inigo and Lucian are the top two companion mods on the Nexus. And then, I don't know, I've never played Kaiden, so I can't rank that one. But, I should say top three is actually Inigo, Lucian, and the Serana... What's it called? Oh, I don't have time for this. What is that mod called again? Serana Dialogue add-on? Yeah. That's gotta be the third best companion. And then after that, I'm gonna say Vilha is actually top five. And I know a lot of people had it. You guys are so mean. You made. I think you made her quit modding because you didn't like her voice. In terms of functionality and what a companion to do can do, Vilha is one of the best companions. In terms of true functionality and what a companion can do, then yes, Vilha is one of the best. Look at you splashing about. Oh, interesting. Tell Professor Marcy about Green Wall Ruins. Is there anything I can actually do in here, or do I need to go back? Well, I guess we'll go back to the museum. Because it, uh, it doesn't look like we'll be doing any of the companion quests today. Are, are they even back at the museum? That's the question. Because they... What in the world? Thank you. Because they... Um, I've been playing different games, so my keys and stuff are off. I'm playing too much Fallout lately, like... Sometimes you just have... Oh, they are back at the museum. Good. Sometimes you just have that... That kick. To... To play it full out. Uh, there's a whole, like... Thing down there. Like sometimes I'm in that Skyrim kick, and then sometimes after a while of playing Skyrim, I get into that Fallout kick. It's just like a a cycle that never stops. These are the only two franchises I seem to play to like these days. In my younger days, as I was a kid, I, I used to play all kinds of different games. I used to love racing games, open world racing games. I used to anything open world. I used to love. I used to play a lot of GTA, Saints Row, open world racing games like Test Drive Unlimited and Need for Speed. I used to play other things too like Call of Duty and Battlefield, but now all I play is Skyrim, Skyrim Special Edition, Fallout 3, New Vegas, Tell of Two Wastelands, Fallout 4. And when Starfield comes out, obviously we'll be playing that too. Uh, I think Inigo is having another issue because I don't see him.
I don't know where he went. That's not good. I'm gonna console command him closer to me. Sorry. That's just the way it is. I I, I know there's a map marker for follow any go. Maybe I have it unticked. It's just I, I don't see the map marker for follow any go unless it disappeared because that is a vanilla bug where quests do eventually disappear off your quest log if you have too many and it looks like that may have happened well we were just in Fort Greenwall but he would maybe if I fast travel to right here he'll pop up No, he's he's gone. He's had another one of his things. Hold on. All right, he's. What is on your mind? I don't know what happened to you, dude. Back to business. I thought he. I thought you had another one of your spells. All right, we're gonna teleport back to the safe house because. It's really been sort of an uneventful day, despite the Inigo stuff. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Lydia. Miko, vigilant or visual. Zora, you're next on the list. By the way, of uh, companion quest, we need to do. We need to go see Grandma Skyrim as well. Surely, we haven't even talked to you yet. I am standing in the home of a hero. That is true. You are. All right, curator's guide. They are back in. The Explorer Society Guildhouse. Yes, you guys are back. Victoria. How can this one help? Need to talk to you, Madressi, about a couple things. Maressi. What time is it? I haven't seen Good the day. sky all day. I need to talk to you, but I also all need right to talk then. to you. I found these curious schematics. What do you make of them? Oh, Eggleman, do you see this? These are fantastic. They show how to construct a Dwemer planetarium. It will take a thing or two to make it happen, though. Gears, cogs, gyros, more dynamo cores than you can shake a stick at. Dwemer bronze by the cartload. No simple task, I assure you, but I can make it happen with your help. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Oh, uh, actually I was talking to Eggleman, but you're more than welcome to help as well. Might get done quicker that way. Here is a list of what I will certainly need right offhand to get started. The rest I'll let you know as I figure out as you bring the rest. Farewell. Dwemer metal ingots. Do I really not have any Dwemer metal ingots on me? Oh, I already do. I have 247 sawn logs. I already got a lot of this stuff on me. Hello. I have a job for you. Uh, we can go. Yeah, I made an amazing discovery. Oh, really? What is it, Guildmaster? Oh my, that is quite amazing. I'll start making arrangements immediately and rally the crew. We'll meet you there in a few days. Talent for it. All right. Looks like we're we're. <coughs> Excuse me, it's early in the morning and I've yet to drink some water, so. You'll have to tell me the whole story someday. Preferably over an expensive. Alright, three days we will head over there. Right now we're currently waiting on Inigo to have another mm -hmm. you know, moment. Until then we will see you in the next one.